Alrighty then, folks. Welcome back to Giren's Great Earth Federation Forces campaign. It is still early in the morning, so I'm trying to not disturb my neighbors and I'm talking quietly, but most likely you watched the last episode before this and you know this. So, I was looking at the wiki... Oh, in between... Sorry. Clip the mic. I was looking at the wiki in between uh, episodes, and if we can get Solomon done in less than three... or in three phases, basically three turns in a battle, we can actually do it before Doza will appear. So, if we were to attack with, like... How many do we have? 60? All in one turn? We would totally be able to grab Solomon, or we'd be able to destroy them all in Solomon before that happened. And we do have a white base. So if we could, like, move two or three of them in there from where we have them right now, we could totally do it. Because we'd need to move, because you start up here, capture this, then we'd have to, like, close this distance in a turn, and then we'd be able to destroy them, but... If we can't do that, we could always just destroy Big Zom. As much as I hate to do it, we could. We would just have to wait, wait down its energy and then destroy it in melee. Which could could work. I've done that to uh, the Sazabi multiple times, so it could work. But we'll figure that one out next episode. For now, we j I upgraded every Gundam to a G3. Which, just pointing this out, um, the third thing uh, uh, for the special data, it's biped. Uh, has shield and then magnetic coating it's magnetic kotu, kotu yeah that's hard to say anyway so as magnetic coating which means it gets five to ten percent bonus something like that it's not all that important right now oh and i forgot to tell these guys to move they don't have any gundams do they they do not so we're just gonna go occupy this space there because at best they can send one six yeah, they can send six guys at us. And they're also producing two Gattle Fighters, a Zaku F2, and a Radar Zaku in here. But just imagine as soon as we grab one of these one of these bases, like these production points, they are going to be producing eight or nine troops in every single one every turn. So we need to be we need to grab as much as we can now. Oh, just thinking about it. Saberfish. Whoops. Saberfish. Move down, capture here. They have zero there. They have zero there. They have zero there. So what we're gonna do is we're next turn we're gonna grab this one, right? So we'll send one person here. We'll send, yeah, we'll send a medium-sized group down here. We'll send half of them up here, then up here. Then we'll have them help out at uh, Luna Two if we're still attacking Luna Two. Um, going to send one GM to go capture this. No, we'll do that next turn. Never mind. So we'll send one GM to capture this. So that when we do capture this point in space, when we attack Luna 2 afterwards, we can just move everyone immediately to side 4. And it'll be easy. And then from side 4, we'll attack Solomon. We'll probably have Luna or side 1 by then. So, yeah. I'm just going to end the turn. Not doing star 1 just yet. I believe I've done everything. But if I haven't, I'll notice later. Oh, and... Uh, the fleet from the last one, that one event with Brighton, it, the guy's name is like Kamel, Carmel, Camel, something like that. It's like Kamel. Yeah, you get 50, or yeah, it's 50 free experience from that one, and then the next turn, you do that one where you kill Jiren, and you get another 50 free experience. So basically, everyone but Amuro ranks up. Oh, and they have a Guazine and two Zakus. Yeah, um, at this point, Amuro is like rank B or rank A already, so it takes a little while for him to level up. But in this campaign, except for losing Ryu and Slegger, um, doing the white base events is great. Like, you just get tons and tons of experience. Oh, and basically, if you... They're not really moving, so I'm trying to either get to them as quickly as I can, or just start capturing bases. Because if I capture enough bases, they'll get scared and run away. Because the AI is weird like that. So, we're going to have this guy capture this base, then we'll have the white bases go capture this one. Afterwards, this guy will go down to capture this one in the center. This GM will go here, then capture this one, then try to capture that one.
Yeah, they're ta they're like staying in the back, so I don't know if we'll be able to finish this battle this turn. Which kind of sucks, because I wasn't planning on getting attacked here. Okay, so GM. Next turn you'll grab that. Yeah, I'll probably have... It'll take two turns to grab here, and then after I grab there, um, I'll probably just send someone off from this one to go grab down there, and then I'll send these guys... Or, actually, that's a escape point, so never mind. I was going to say I'll send them across space, but don't need to do that. Okay, they are heading towards the center, which is good. So we're going to send one over there, or two over here, and then we'll send one straight down. Then we'll send here, grab that, send him towards the center. Yeah, we won't finish this in one turn, which does suck, but we can accept that. Okay, so we want three snipers, not a GM and. Or actually, we want a GM and a sniper. Because we'll just stick those guys in front. To go attack here. Some snipers to go beat this guy to death. And then we'll move you to here to scan. Uh, this Guazine is going to attack them with. That guy, uh, Toro, Torakatsu, Tarakatsu, Shin in an R2, R1. I wasn't actually expecting that, to be honest. Um, and that's just an empty F. Those guys will help out with the Guazine. And those guys down, those guys down. Oh, I could told the white bases to attack. Oh well. Yep, so that Guazian's gonna have to try to capture a base. Or sit in a base. <laughs> Which means it can attack us, but we'll send some. We'll send a couple of units up to melee it, so we will be able to destroy it. Unless well, this is turn five. This is turn five, so never mind. We'll do that next turn. Okay, we can't do anything about it. Sadly, it could do a ton of damage, but I don't know. and again, we used a shield to block a mega particle cannon. I don't know how we do that, but yeah, we'll finish that up later. That's fine. And then there's that one unit attacking us down there. Take I don't think he can retreat since we control that one already. But because we control all of this, we get like massive movement bonuses. Because it's our home territory. I am making it so they can attack us easy, but this one can use the HP, and he it's a single R2 with 62 HP. We could actually have that white base counter it and destroy it. Or not. It could run away, that works too. So, can we? We cannot. So what we're going to do is we're going to fire... Yeah, okay. So we're gonna attack it, hoping to destroy it. I don't know. It's probably trying to get up here, to be honest. But... I don't know why it's trying to do that. Hopefully we'll destroy it, but as soon as it tries crossing us, we'll deploy units and destroy it. No, we didn't destroy it, but we did hit it. Now it has like 18 HP left. That's good for it, but it's just close enough now. So... Yeah, 
And yes, this is definitely overkill. If we don't kill it, I will be beyond mad. It didn't actually dodge that much. It was they had to play the whole animation through. Oh, and it was Andy. Alright, I forgot to check. Or I might have checked and just didn't notice. But hey, we got this one, so we can go attack that point in space. Or side one. We're attacking that point in space here. So they have I believe that's Juzaku's in Gattle Fighter. I could be wrong. Also, these guys badly need energy. I should have remembered that. Oh well. I'll let them come to us. So we're gonna try to go for the center as quickly as we can. Our Zakus, which are just fine. Which will probably actually be our main attack force in this one. But we do control the point beyond this, so we get a little bit of energy for being on an active supply line. So, you guys don't need energy, you don't. Well, you don't need as much. Okay, so... These guys need energy, so they're gonna capture this here base. Can't, because... Uh, GM snipers. I forgot. So, they're gonna go forward. They're gonna go forward. I mean, this is the one with the Zaku in it. Yeah, it is. They'll ca that Zaku will capture that base next turn. So we're just gonna move here, keep you on the line. And you'll go forward. We'll catch those Zakus, and then we'll have some GM Sniper support fire. And then that Gattle Fighter will be all that's left. Or they'll break into three, which means we can't do that. That sucks. Oh, it's a radar Zaku. That's cool. So, GM Snipers... They're going to attack this one here. R2s will go take out the radar Zaku. And if we destroy both of these, the Gattle Fighter will have to move there. And since Gattle Fighters only have one attack range, they're going to attack these R2s. Okay. And then you guys have some energy. So we're just going to move them all on the line. So next turn, they'll have some energy to attack as well. And those are some Zaku F2s. And we didn't destroy them, but we did a ton of damage. I just have to imagine the Xeon, uh, the Xeon pilots are really confused, because we're attacking them with a green Zaku, so it's just like, oh, hey, look, some Zakus are coming as reinforcements, and they just killed that guy. Well, never mind then. And the one the Gattle attack didn't have enough energy to counter attack. Oh yeah, it had 27 energy. That's really bad. But they're cattle fighters. They're basically the tin cods of Xeon. Okay, so... You guys don't have any energy. That's not gonna happen. I wanna merely see if anyone's piloting this. They are not. Okay, we should definitely murder that uh, that uh, Gattle fighter. I was about to say Tin Cod again. Whoops. Yeah. Because we're just going to have these units sit there for a few turns. Them having low energy doesn't really matter. They'll regain, like, all of it within the end of the turn. And we got the, uh, the full armor Gundam. The Grey Phantom. That's good. 
we're about to go get the shit out of both of those, because, well, the full armor Gundam isn't really much my thing. The Grey Phantom is an assault boat, and really, really nice. And I think it can hold more than the white base. I'm not actually sure. I think it can hold eight units. Which, I know the Argama can hold eight, so I wouldn't be surprised if they could, too. Um, yeah, I've upgraded everyone. Or, wait, no, this is the one from Jaburo. You guys saw me do that. Never mind, yeah, I did. I don't know what I'm thinking. So, we're gonna have you move there. We're going to have a single GM go over here. You guys are going to get repaired. And then you're all snipers and GMs, so it doesn't matter. Oh, wait, you guys are going to go attack here, which has... 0, 6, 9... 12... Yeah, basically 12 guys. At best. Sorry, moving the mouse over that, or out of my clock so I can know when the video ends. Okay. And we're going to pincer attack Luna 2. We'll have that, we'll have that. Next turn we'll grab all of this, which reminds me. They only have 15 guys there. That's interesting. Six. Okay. So yeah, we'll... Next turn we'll move to here, then the turn after we'll attack there, so they'll have like 20 guys in Solomon. And immediately after that, we'll have the units that are in here and the units that are in here go attack Aboku. Then after we grab... Because there'll be like 20, 25 in there. Then after we do that, we'll go down... We'll send them down here. Or actually, we'll send the units that attack there to there. We'll send the units that were in Solomon... Uh, straight down to Aboku, then we'll go grab that, then we'll attack Granada, and then from Granada we'll go and we'll go to Space 13, and then we'll have a big attack on side 6. Side 3. Sorry, I can't count. 0, 0, zero 3, 0. Okay, so they were going to reinforce side 1, or side 2, so I'm not going to send the Saberfish in. How many units do we have here anyway? 21? Okay. That's not enough to attack Solomon alone, anyway. But when that finally does happen, we're going to try to keep Slager alive. The only problem with attacking Luna 2 right now is we're going to have so many troops, they're going to have so little that all it's going to be is like five minutes of me moving. So they have three Jikos, a Saikamizaku and two Zakus underneath, a Zaku and a Gaddle, a Tuve class, that's not a Chive yet, and that's a Zaku and something underneath that I can't tell. So, first things first, we're going to capture that base, then we're going to move all our white bases forward, and then we'll move some of the Magellans, Musais, Salamises, whatever the hell that we have up there. There are Salamises, Magellans, and a few Columbus classes. It's going to be interesting though, because god damn, that's going to be a lot of people to move. But this will be the mainstay of our fleet for, like, the rest of the game. Okay, we've heard that one. And it's just that guy being a dick to Kojima. Well. Talking about how much he knows Jaburo. Or at least I think that's what they're talking about. Oh, I forgot to move the ships. Whoops. There's only 15 guys, though. What could it hurt? Um, they can attack us next turn, but I'm okay with that. I'll just deploy units to kill them. And then... I'll start moving in the other ships at, around the back to strike at their center. They probably won't help much, but they can help. Okay, and with this, we'll, like, take all the units out of these first three to kill all these guys, and then we'll send the rest around to go attack the people in the middle. That's a Magellan, a Salamis, a Magellan, a Salamis, a Salamis, whoops, a Magellan. Okay, so that's all the people we'll send to go attack the middle, just because I don't want to move anyone else. It's just a big pain at this point. Oh, and they're having everyone attack us right now. That's cool. Nope. Nope. 
Zaku Fs. Yeah, definitely. Actually, I think they might be Cs. They did not do enough damage. I didn't spread particles at all, and they did like less than a, or just 120 damage. More Gikos than you can imagine. So, since we're right next door, we are going to scan. Let's see. Zaku Fs. I was wrong. They just did ex extremely small amounts of damage. Okay, so, snipers will go take out to these guys. Move you to here. Scan. Send you guys around. Eh. I probably should have sent, had somebody in the middle go to attack that guy, but oh well. Go capture this base from around you. Uh, G3, two GMs to go take out to this group. Um, G3 and two GMs to go take out this group. So this white base around as well. Uh, G3, a. What was that? G3, a gun cannon. Yeah, a gun cannon Mark II and something else. Do I take out that one? Take out that one. Do I have some snipers in here? I do not. Um, we'll just have the white bases. Actually, they're Gikos. I don't think they'll survive long, but I'll have two of the white bases help out. Okay. And then up here we'll just spread, uh, start spreading tons and tons of particles and then firing out of those particles. One thing about Salamis is they spread a little bit farther than Magellans do. Which, thinking about it... And then we'll fire. This Teve is probably going to try to engage us. We should kill all these people. And then we'll send these guys up to go take out that. It's only, what, turn three? Yeah, turn three. Hopefully we'll do enough damage to these in the center. Mostly because it's controlled territory and I'm telling them come up and attack. Okay. Ah, and it's Lilla. Or Rora. And that's Karen. I don't know if she stays us stays with us through the whole game. I know Sanders does. Yeah, one Jiko left. And there's burning. He is burning his hand. And they're all dead. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Now the real battle comes. Thinking about it, kind of had those white bases also attack. But oh well. Okay. That magnetic coating and the pilot data really helped out. And 
And we really shouldn't be training him. Because he's going to betray us so bad. And we didn't even touch any of them. Though there, it's a Zaku R2, a Psycho Zaku, and a Zaku R1. Well, they moved to attack us. It's interesting. Sure, why not? Sure, why not? And that is a standard Teve class. Add some Zaku R2s. This was perhaps a bad idea. But we will have this unit retreat. Wasn't that bad of an idea. But we will have him move away and we'll have four or five units surround that Zaku and destroy it. You will move to here because that's three spots away. You'll move to here. You'll shoot at the Teve. Can you shoot at... Yeah, you can shoot from there, so... We'll have them shoot to there. We're making it so the Zaku can't hit us, but we can hit him. And since we scanned him, we'll have a really good chance of actually hitting him. You know, saying that, well, we can just do it from here. And, um... Ben Helsing. Yes, that's his name. That's the vampire hunter. He's randomly part of Zeon. I always thought he was Transylvanian, so he'd be more on the British side of things, not the American side, but that's cool too. The Transylvanians actually like the British on occasions, because they helped with the Ottomans. Whoops. And this is turn four, yeah? Yeah, this is only turn four, so... We should definitely kill the guys in the center by the end of the next turn. And we'll probably kill these guys. And then we should do a lot of damage to this one. And I can't attack anyone, but can spread particles. Okay, yeah, we should do a lot of damage to those guys. Then we'll deploy and destroy these ones in the center. Luckily, Zeon won't start producing more people till this place actually falls, so... Eh. Should probably have spammed a lot more particles thinking about it, but eh. Nope. So it's like a Muzaku probably Lala's piloting. Or Chalia. Who knows? But it has no melee, so it couldn't do much. I need to stop telling them to attack Zaku's back. It's not the best idea. Okay. But we'll do the same thing as before, just have a ton of people shoot at each other, but we'll spread particles this time. So, particles, fire. Fire. Er, particles, then fire. Whoops. Particles, fire. Particles, fire. Particles. Particles. Fuego. Fuego. Um, particles, particles. Fire. Oops. And... Oops. 
Okay, I need to make him move closer, so he can't attack anyway. Oh, wait, there's... We've overloaded both of these two. You can only make a certain number of attacks on a single unit per turn. Oh, well. Should've noticed that earlier, but it doesn't matter. Okay, so these guys will be taking out this here Psycho Muzaku. Though I want the Gundam in front on this unit. Same thing with this one. This has... Okay, I don't know why the fuck they did that. That's that guy from MS Igloo. Uh, basically, since that doesn't have a new type pilot in it, it takes a pretty major damage penalty. And they didn't put one in there, so it's basically fighting at like 60% potential. I don't know why the fuck they did that. I really can't tell you. And I'm, I don't think we'll actually kill him, I just moved this guy in the way so we couldn't actually melee him. But we'll do that next turn. Hopefully we destroy these guys up there, but this is the fifth turn, so... Oh wow, we actually destroyed him. Be fair, it was a Zaku F, but I didn't think that was gonna happen. Uh-huh. Hey, how do I have all those pilots but he's not dead yet? He dies. Anyway. Mind you, the Black Tri-Stars are also dead. And we're fighting their zombies, so he's probably a zombie too. Ah, Renkin. Or Henkin. And we almost got him. But he didn't even touch us, so. Oh, and the Chive is running away, and the. Zaku's in our thing attacking a white base. So we'll attack him back, because we can. And we missed completely. Oh well. We'll finish that up next turn. It's actually kind of better that we prolong it a turn. Oh, and they have three versus our one. Three what, though, is the question. Three Zakus. Yeah, okay, we're not winning this battle, so we're just gonna retreat. We'll send more guys next turn. And it's 34 against 2. So. Hmm. This is a Tive. er, Columbus Kai. Oh, it can only hold 5 guys. I did not know that. I was thinking it could hold six. Never mind. So we're attacking them with a white base, a Columbus class, and a Musai. And a Musai full of a Gundam, uh, two Gundams. What is this world? Oh, and they have some Zakus. I didn't actually go look at their guys. Hmm. No, we're not going to attack back. F2s. Okay, we can't move that far, so we'll just move him closer. We'll have these guys move up. Take him out. We'll have this here Columbus class move by. And this one move by. Uh, this one move up. Also fire on this here. This guy here. And we'll have them move up. Also fire on this guy here. 
We should destroy him. Which has Appley piloting it, weirdly enough. Or Appery. What do we have here? Some GM snap buzz. You know what? Fuck it. Let's go. Though I want to put the snipers in front. We'll definitely destroy him. Then next turn we'll destroy the other one. And that's one of his lines from Seda Gundam. Oh, you know what? We can just have these two Gundams also attack. It's just a Zaku. It's probably a radar Zaku, too. Zaku F2, or F. Okay, and now we just overkilled him. I think this unit will go help out and uh, down where Granada is. Like, just go sit there for a little while. Like, we'll have them move down. Oh, and then this thing with the Guazine. So, we're moving you forward to attack. You're just going to move here. Okay, and you're going to move to attack there, you're going to move to there, and not do anything because we can't. Oops. Hopefully we destroy him in one turn. We're doing enough damage after all. Oh. And our first GM has 38 HP. Whoops. We'll repair that later. I probably should have noticed, but... So they basically wasted a Guazine. Yay, we won! Daiju-san独立戦隊より報告します。再度執行を執行する際、締め級巡洋艦と交戦し、撃破に成功しました。次の命令があるまで、我々は陽動作戦を継続します。うん。そう。前線のパイロットもそくが深刻な問題となっています。ニュータイプ研究所のテストパイロットクリスチーナ・マッケンジーを転属させ。数十人の。This is we're going to say next to the next one too, so Bernie dies. エグザムの研究室ですが、ジオン特務部隊の襲撃を受けました。この襲撃でクルスト博士が死亡し、ブルー2号機が奪われたものの、ユーカジマの1号機の活躍によって3号機を守ることができました。ぜひ奪われた2
Hey, we have Christina. We're about to get our gun to Malik's. We also have Jamaican. He always looks ridiculous. No shit. Holy shit. I gotta check this. We do. She lost all her experience, but holy shit. All right. Whoops. Definitely did not want to do that. Did she should be dead? Where were we? Oh yeah, you still alive. He's in Jaburo. So we're gonna go stick him in a blue destiny, send him into space. Oh, yeah, he's already piloting that blue destiny. We also have a full armor Gundam. Which we can stick Christina into. And the Chiro, Sanders, those guys. But we're gonna send them into space first. Which will be fun. Um, checking the blue destiny real quick. It's not as good as the G3, sadly. But we will use it. We might make a couple more. Those are pretty cool. So, we're going to send uh, these guys south. We're going to send these guys down as well. Though we're going to repair them first. We'll send them down as well, so they'll cut off this one. Send the saberfish, because why not? So, we'll grab that, then we'll have uh, this army go down and capture here. And then from there, we'll have them go there, then there, then there, and then eventually attack Granada. For now, we have 27 there. They have one there. Okay, you know what? I know I said that I was going to wait a turn, but fuck it, they have one guy in there. We are totally doing this. Because if we can beat it before turn four, Slugger survives. Okay. Jiongun,宇宙要塞,ソロモン。もう少、ドズルザビの指揮する要衝にして、ジオン本土を防衛する最重要拠点である。地上に置いてジオンを圧倒した連邦軍は必勝の策を持ってこの難攻不落の要塞に挑む。ジオン本土を目指す連邦軍の新たな戦いが今始まろうとしていた。Watch <笑> Okay, we are going to send them, because if we don't, Dozo will be there in the beginning, but we won't let them do anything. Okay, so, before anything, we want to make sure that there's a G3, and... Whoops, I didn't mean to unload him. Can they not switch equipment? Oh, shit. Well, that's a one downside to getting G3s. They can't switch equipment, supposedly. Or I'm just not seeing it. It could be because I'm blind. That works, too. Okay. Or that happens, too, on occasion. So, yeah, they have one unit. They're not producing anyone. We are totally going to grab that shit. Eh, fuck this place. It doesn't matter anymore. Though they might grab side four after that, but we'll stock them and make it work. Oh, actually. We'll send a Musai and a Col the remains of a Columbus at them. At side four, so if they do attack it, we'll be able to attack them back. We should grab Solomon next turn. Then we'll move everyone down to here, and then we'll grab this place as well, then we'll move everyone and attack Aboku, but that will be next episode. I know this one was only one turn, but if you liked it, you should like it. Next turn will be exciting, though.